Employees of Walmart, what is the weirdest thing you've ever seen at work? This one time, while working in electronics, this dude came up to one of my co-workers and said he cut himself on one of the displays and that he needed medical attention. We threw a shooty off brand band-aid on his cut and sent him on his way see, Walmart employee. A couple hours later I noticed something wedged in between two of the displays and I pulled it out. It was an empty prepaid phone case with a large slit down the side of the plastic mold and a blood stain on the exposed cardboard packaging. Turns out the guy had cut his hand open while trying to steal one of our phones and had the audacity to ask us for help. My favorite was the guy who came in and said I lost the remote so I need a new TV I asked him if the TV was broke it wasn't. He just lost the remote and didn't want to bother finding it so he wanted a new TV. I showed him our selection of universal remotes. He responded with, but then it'd have to program it. The new TV comes with a pre-programmed remote. So I sold the guy a 50 inch TV. Found a woman passed out naked, in sporting goods about 2am while working nights. We had no idea, how no one noticed her, because we found articles of her clothing all over the store, including in the back storage area called police and ambulance. She was very very drugged and was unable to communicate at all. Former Walmart employee, hope that counts. Not nearly as weird as some of these, but I watched a disgruntled employee spear 5 to 6 large TVs with the forklift like picker, used to pull pallets off the top, shelves in the back. He said he was sick of the job and had done everything he could think of to get fired, but wasn't having any luck. It was near Christmas, and they apparently needed people so badly he didn't get fired over this either. After coming back from a talk with the manager, he finished his shift now banned from using anything bigger than a pallet jack, and when his shift was over he said fck it, him not coming back, if that didn't get me fired I don't know what will. Yeah. I worked as a third shift stock boy for Walmart throughout college. One of the most interesting jobs I have ever had. One of my favorite stories was one night about 3am a bunch of kids came in wearing bandanas and riding adult sized big wheels about as fast as they could. They made it clear across the store to the soda and still about 5, 2 liters and a bunch of chips and snacks. The entire staff just watched this happen too. Seemed par for the course. I have a lot of other stories about the rest of the staff from my group but this one requires the least amount of backstory. I had a customer treat me like a human being once, it was nice. One night a drunk chick dropped her pants and took a piss right outside our electronics department because the guy cleaning the bathroom won't let her in. On a separate night a woman cold and hold it and pooped the whole way to the bathroom from the front door. Those walking poops sure are something else. I saw an old woman come into a church once, ask the minister in a desperate voice where the bathroom was, then waddle down the hallway towards it, a couple of small turds falling out her pant leg as she went. It was sad. A code Adam was called, and the kid was found in the ball display end cap. He crawled in there, and was having fun. We had a code Adam for a missing 60 yo, which wasn't so odd, when you consider he was mentally handicapped. What was odd, or more appropriately hilarious, was when we found him practically devouring our entire display of bananas. Bunches in his arms, shoveling them whole into his mouth, and skins all around his feet. Our co-manager was visually pissed, but just told them oh, it's okay, as long as he's safe. My mom works at a warmer down here in Miami. She's always telling me about the crazy shoot she sees at work. Thief found a lot of goat head sealed in buckets in the parking lot. They suspect it has something to do with Santiria. She once had a mentally handicapped employee shoot in the drain in the bathroom. She had an employee pass out at work and never wake up. The guy just died on the spot. Edit. My ex also worked as a cashier at a Walmart in his hometown and told me about this one lady. He was ringing up her purchase, and she kept trying to talk to him about football. He really doesn't give a frick about football, so he wasn't paying much attention to her. He rang up something I think it was a TV or something expensive like that, and noticed the price was way lower than he had expected it. So he flipped over the box, and saw that she had out a different sticker over the barcode. She was only trying to get him engaged in small talk, so he won't notice. He called over his supervisor and let him deal with it. 
Edit 2. Okay I just remember this one. I was visiting my mom at work one day, and one of her associates comes up to us. She was this older lady and she began telling my mom that it was nice working with her, and blah blah blah. Then, she tells us about her plans. After she leaves Walmart, she says she's going to be opening up her own theme park with her husband and she even gives us a name and a location. Then, she tells us as a thank you, she's willing to let my mom and I go to this theme park free for a few days. At this point, I was like frick yeah this sounds legit. After the lady left, my mom told me the lady was delusional, and she was actually having financial problems. Colon. I was buying shoes at a Walmart, and I heard someone yelling in the next aisle. I peek around the corner and there's a man holding a pair of rubber rain boots being yelled at by one of the employees. He suddenly drops the boots, and threw his hands up in the air for some reason, and when the boots hit the floor a bunch of yellow liquid came spilling out of one of them. The guy had been taking a piss in the rubber boots. I went to pay less, and got me some shoes after that. I wasn't about to try on any more warmer shoes. A bunch. A guy shopping with long hair, dressed in a brown terry bathrobe, bunny slippers the real thing. How do you even find these? Straw gardening hat, and sunglasses. Another employee was assisting him with shopping and reaching objects on shelves. People using the fitting rooms as a bathroom, or leaving feminine products inside. Yup, a woman went to try on a bra, but bled all over it from an open wound on her side, and we had to buy ours at that shoot. A girl puked on me. I got to go home early that day, in the grocery section. A pretty big tall guy was grabbing onto the banana display the kind that hangs from the ceiling on a 30 foot rope and shot putting the bananas so far they swung out over the meats section. Almost hit the deadly sign, then came swinging back, and he caught it. He stopped when he saw me watching him. Kids throwing those poppet fireworks everywhere, while running through the store, freaking out the managers as they set some off in the chemicals and cleaners aisle. I didn't see it, but there was a woman in a local Walmart that couldn't afford to buy the ingredients, so she began making meth right in the store. It was right before Christmas I was working there as a temp for the seasonal rush. I had a lady come to my checkout line with three carts full of DVDs, CDs, candy, food, all kinds of small stuff. She was acting really weird, and I could tell right away that she wasn't gonna be able to pay for all of it. She was obviously on something, I assumed meth. So, I started ringing it up, didn't want to make her feel like I knew she won't pay. She was saying things like, my son will like that one, and mentioned some other relatives. It was sad, actually. Anyhow, I ran it all through the checker, and I was well over $3,000 when I finished the first cart. My shift manager came over, and we asked her if she was serious about buying this all, and she pretty much took off after that. Christmas, such a merry time, but not for all especially at Walmart. TLDR, drugged up lady with 3 carts full of DVDs and CDS. A few years back, I worked at Walmart as an assistant manager. I was working a 12p 10p shift and the overpass manager called off sick, so I stayed until 4am so somebody working mornings could come in early, and we could have it covered. Anyway, it was February in Northern Illinois. The temp outside at 2am was about 6 degrees. At about 2.30, I get a call over the walkie talkie, to come up to the pharmacy, and that you have got to see this. I went up to pharmacy, and see two younger guys. One was dressed in a lifeguard's outfit complete with a thick coating of sunscreen on his nose. The other one was dressed in a complete walrus costume. I half followed these guys through the store to make sure that they weren't going to do something stupid like pull fire alarms, etc. And caught up with what everybody was doing stocking shelves. I lost contact with them because they weren't bothering anybody and just went about my business. About a half hour later, I made my way up to the front registers, and asked the cashier if she had seen the lifeguard in the walrus. She said that not only did she see them, but they made a purchase. The lifeguard found some sunscreen in the clearance aisle, and the walrus got a pack of salmon from the seafood department. They paid with cash, and went on their way. One time, I was coming off break, and passed two older and they looked a little odd, but I only caused a glance at one of them at first, which caused me to stop and turn around. 
two men in what looked like their mid-fifties with tanned skin wearing Bavarian barmaid dresses, complete with shoes and pigtails, were walking through the store shopping. I made eye contact for a moment, and I got the, the most serious look from one of them. They were acting like it wasn't unusual at all. To this day, I'm still not sure what was going on. There were no events in the area at that time, where people would be dressed up. I don't work at Walmart anymore, but I'll never forget this woman who frequented the store. Of all the weird people I saw, she had to be at the top. She wasn't from the US, never figured out exactly where she was from. She was batshit crazy. She was middle aged, and would be walking around in the dead of summer wearing a very heavy black coat, huge sunglasses, and huge over the ear headphones. If you asked her why she was wearing this, she would tell you that she didn't want to see or hear the hypocrisy going on in this country, or that she wanted to protect herself from the hate and intolerance in this country. As you can imagine, many people gawked at her. She stuck out like a sore thumb. She would flag one of us down and demand that we tell them to stop, and it would always begin in my culture, we don't. Stare at people, play music loudly, wear tight clothing. All things I've heard, we would tell her that we'd take care of it, and she'd just tottle off without another word. This would happen at least once a week. She seemed to always be in the store from the minute I got into the minute I left. Quite an odd woman. I felt bad for her. My boyfriend works for Walmart. Yesterday he posted this brilliant status. Just saw a 13 year old girl using the urinal at Walmart. So. Yeah. That might be the strangest thing for him. Had a guy scream at the top of his lungs to my co-worker because he wasn't allowed to pick up a site. To store order his name wasn't on the package and he freaked the frick out until a manager had to come and defuse the situation. Another co-worker of mine had to check the men's bathrooms for a drunk guy who pissed everywhere in produce freaking gross and passed out somewhere in the store. This isn't weird, but it's my biggest freaking pet peeve when parents let their kids lay down in the bottom shelf thing where you put water slash big things. I stay clear of them because the kid's head is sticking out of the bottom and I'm scared I'm going to kick them or something. Been an employee for roughly over a year in the electronics department. I work in the deli. I once saw a woman on a motor scooter throw a rotisserie chicken at her husband because he had brought her the wrong item. It's lit about 10 feet as the door greet and I just stared at each other, lost. She drove off, leaving her husband behind. I have never seen a man look so broken down. Also someone huffing those cans of keyboard duster in the bathroom and someone asleep on the toilet, pants down and snoring. A trail of chute leading to the women's bathroom. We found it funny slash disturbing, but some woman was probably having the worst day of her life. I'm an overpass manager at a super center in a bad part of town. One night we're watching this guy stealing a flashlight from sporting goods on camera. We apprehend him, but after much searching we can't find what he did with the item. So after a while we have the guy sitting on a bench, and he is kind of squirming around. Turns out he put the flashlight up his ass. Hazmat suits were needed. Out of high school, I got a job at a local Walmart as a 29 acre cart pusher. Anyways, it was almost closing time and I ended up helping a customer take out some merchandise. Right behind the customer service desk slash exit doors was what appeared to be the top of a chocolate ice cream, swirl and all on the ground. I assumed it fell off some owns ice cream cone from McDonald's. I holler that I'll be right back to clean it up. I get back inside and notice this ice cream has not melted one bit. Curiosity got the best of me, so I decided to lean down and get a whiff of it, just to confirm it was ice cream. It was not ice cream. Someone somehow managed to drop a turd right in plain view with an ice cream swirl shape. That was 10 years ago and it still blows my mind to this day. One time this woman saw some ice cream in one of our ads, and we didn't actually carry it, because we are into super center. Needless to say I almost got punched in the face. She couldn't fathom the idea of us not carrying this raspberry ice cream. She was talking like what? No. It's in your ad. Why? Where is it? It should be right here. After explaining in fine detail the reason we didn't carry it, she got right in my face and yelled at me at the top of her lungs. Her boyfriend just stood there and watched without emotion. 
She was most definitely cracked out on something. Also just today an old woman shoot in the freezer aisle and walked away. It smelled really really bad. Edit. Words. I worked at Walmart for about a year, but was not technically a Walmart employee. I was part of a company that handles the books and music. Anyway, I usually tried to keep to myself and never really talk to anyone. Every now and then, there'd be a stray employee that would browse through the books killing time, I suppose while I was stocking. This one guy would come by maybe once a week, chat for maybe 10 minutes, and leave. He was a little weird, but he never really creeped me out or anything. Mostly we just talked about what books we like, or what was coming out soon. One day I really wish I could remember how this conversation started. He tells me that his ancestors are Cherokee Indians. At this point, him thinking, yeah, sure buddy, where I'm from, everyone claims to have Cherokee background is this a common thing? Blonde hair, blue eyes, and freckles. Yep, got to be Cherokee, for sure. That's not the point of my story though. This man proceeds to explain to me that the other side of his family are Wood Elves, and that the Wood Elves had close relationships with the Cherokee Indians. He proved this point to me by showing me how pointy his ears were. I could not think of a single thing to say to this guy, so I just kind of smiled and nodded in some sort of agreement. Wamut can be such a weird place. TL. Dr. Wood Elves work at Wamut. Edit. Thank you stranger for my first ever edit gold. It made my night. I work third shift as a cashier, so you can imagine the things I've seen. But the one that gets me is this couple that comes in about once a week who I swear are related to the McPoyles from Always Sunny. The guy is well over 6 foot tall and always has earmuffs and a huge plaid jacket on even in the summer. He also has a weird spooky mullet that is sometimes braided. She is very tiny and always dressed in huge pajamas that are covered in stains and range from my little pony to a bomber bashing shoot. She also has no teeth and the squeakiest high pitched voice. They only buy milk. I used to work at Walmart overnights for many many years and I've seen some interesting things. One that sticks in my head the most would be the young woman in a sundress running barefooted through the parking lot doing cartwheels. Nothing under the sundress and it was December. Her companion was dressed properly but clearly drunk. They had to be chased down through the store. The woman pulled her sundress up to expose her goods and started doing ballerina spins. Both took off running. Managers went after them again. Short while later I found them in the alcohol aisle. She was on her knees blowing him for all she was worth. Interesting night. My K works there and told me a story about a woman coming to the pharmacy with her kids all dirty and in their underwear. Not diapers. Children in only underwear. She tried to get syringes from the pharmacy and upon being told no, she flung herself on the floor screaming and crying and had to be escorted out and the police called. He didn't know what happened after that, unfortunately. Once, I was in there using the restroom and this super obese child comes out of one of the stalls, no shoes on, holly shorts on, and a huge tank top falling off the kid's shoulders. I thought it was a boy women's restroom, until the mom came in there, and called her C's, and said something about her shirt falling and everyone would see her boobies. Then the kid goes on her merry way through the store barefooted. People. Edit. Spelling X2. What the frick is with people shooting all over Walmart? I don't go to Walmart and be like This is the most perfect place to shoot. Man. The feng shui of this place makes me gotta shoot. And In my area our Walmart keeps getting bomb threats every Saturday and sometimes Tuesdays. They have to call the FBI and bomb sniffing dogs in from Pittsburgh and it takes a good 4 hours or more. They're on the verge of shutting down because whoever is calling the threats in is using an app from their phone and using an out of area area code and fake email so it's virtually untraceable. AHH technology. A pallet of ammonia based cleaner stacked above bleach and the top pallet was leaking. Anyone with the slightest common sense should know not to stack these one on top of the other because it results in the creation of chlorine gas. A disaster waiting to happen. That was the day that I quit that job. $8. 50 slash hours was not enough for me to risk my life because of someone's industrial strength stupidity.